This video is brought to you by my awesome sponsors. Make sure to check out the affiliate links in the description below. Thanks again for all the support. Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Matt and welcome to Gran Turismo 7's 1.36 update. Today we are racing in the brand new C1 first generation Corvette. And that's one of the main things of this update here. Like the previous update, there were a bunch of small little changes that ultimately didn't add up to a whole lot, if I'm going to be honest. <laughs> but it's really nice to be able to finally have certain cars like this in this game, where I've always had a little bit of a soft spot for this car, as it's one that showed up in the dealership many years ago that I just kind of fell in love with. And... Also with this update, there is the Maserati MC20, the 2022 model year. And then there are also the Toyota GR Corolla Marizzo Edition 2021. And then finally, the Toyota Ambulance High Medic 2021. A lot of interesting cars to be added to this update even weirder, two of which you can't even get as of right now, both of which are the T Toyota GR Corolla and the Toyota Ambulance, both of which are special edition cars that you have to watch live events to be able, oh god, or you have to watch live events to be able to acquire them within the next two weekends, I want to say. And finally, in late September is when you'll be able to purchase them both through the brand Central. So that being said, the fact that we don't even get them right now and that we actually have to wait to you know watch the live events and then wait to acquire them from redeeming them from the live events. And the only next time that we can get them is in late September. I'm going to take a gander that this next big update will be coming in late September. As many of you have all seen, there is a leak saying that the circuit Gilles Villeneuve in Canada is going to be coming to this game, which is awesome. It's a really fun track in F123, but I'll be honest, the F1 series by Codemasters, because it is an annual release game, the quality, the level of detail is just not really in comparison to what Gran Turismo has to offer. So I cannot wait to see what Gran Turismo's version, or Polyphony Digital specifically version, of Jill Villeneuve's circuit is going to look like, and I'm super excited for that. So for the two cars that we can actually buy currently, we can get the C1 Corvette and Legendary Car Dealership for 120000 and then we can get the Maserati MC20 in the Brand Central for 300000 credits. Of course, with the C1 Corvette, hopefully by the time you see this video, it's still there as the Legendary Car Dealership has sent C2 rotate cars pretty frequently. Of course, when there are cars added to the updates or via updates, I think they do have a tendency to stick around for like two weeks or three weeks before they get rotated out. So four courses were added to this update. First of which that you saw, it was under the Michelin Raceway Road Atlanta. Very good course. And it was the American Sunday Cup 600, no PowerPoint limit. You can do what I did and try to win with an unmodified C1 Corvette. I would highly not recommend doing so. As you saw, I didn't even get up to fifth place. I also drove like crap, so moot point here. Then we've got Dragon Tail, which is the Hypercar Parade. Again, no PowerPoint limit, and it looks like it might be in the wet, which would be interesting. The Red Bull Ring, which is another Hypercar Parade, no PowerPoint limit as well. And last but not least, High Speed Rings World Touring Car 820 Laps. I can't forget that, of course, this update also includes a couple of other things that I forgot to mention. That being extra menu books for those who are still in their journey of collecting all the cars in this game. 
three new menu books have been added with the 1.36 update here. That being number 26, the Maserati Collection. Number 27, the Aston Martin Collection, as we are racing in the Valkyrie. I think that is... Actually, it is, in fact, one of the cars that is part of that collection. And then finally, last but not least, number 28, which is the K-Car Collection, which I am 99% sure that in the normal menu books that there is, like, it's number three or two there is also a K-Car collection. So I find it interesting that we actually have two K-Car collections now. I think there are also a couple of Ferraris too, so that's making my point a little bit redundant. Regardless, when it comes to this game, yes, we can sit here and we can moan and complain about how this update really only added a couple of events that people aren't really going to play. Going to add a couple of extra menu books of cars that people already have and add a couple of cars that people don't even want. And yes, we can be cynical, or like I've said last update, we can appreciate the fact that Polyphony Digital are still hard at work, and they really don't want to have like a really bombastic update in the middle of their marketing cycle for their movie. I mean, can you imagine? Yes, it would be cool, to have some more like movie tie-in events where you're racing as like I don't know LMP2 cars or something, or more Nurburgring races with like a GTR, or maybe even like an added time trail or something where it's like based off of one of the events following the main character's life. I mean, yes, things like that could be cool, but that's taking development time away from the bigger stuff that is coming, i.e., Circuit Jill Vilner. And, of course, the endurance races. So, yes, it's sad. But as many of you know, especially those who have played Forza Horizon 5, or just the Forza series in general, you will get really big updates, and then you're going to get a lot of little ones, and not a whole lot of marketing, and you're kind of feeling stressed out, and you're, like, questioning the point of it all. And you probably put down the game for a little bit and you play other games. I mean, I can tell you for a fact that I have not been playing Gran Turismo 7 straight through since launch. I've dropped it a couple of times and came back. And now that I'm doing these update videos, I'm consistently coming back to it at least once or twice a month, which is fine. But as we all know, stuff like Crew Motorfest is on the horizon. Forza Motorsports on the horizon. And these games will keep us busy while we patiently wait for these new updates that Polyphony Digital will eventually push out. And as we know, Polyphony is incredibly meticulous and incredibly detailed oriented. And they'll release an update when they're ready. So I digress. I'm happy this game's still being updated because even still, I've been getting a couple of Instagram messages about people who have been buying this game for the first time, like, days ago. And that's because PlayStation 5 is finally becoming a regular item you can pick up in stores, if you know where to look for it at least. And we're getting more and more people into, you know, the PlayStation ecosystem, which is great to see because then that means that there's still going to be more life in this game beyond the first initial three months. And I'm excited to see Polyphony and Sony really taking a step back and looking at long-term support for games, which I'm pretty sure Polyphony has been pretty good about all these years. They try to support the game as long as they can until the new one comes out. So I did want to just briefly kind of discuss the two cars that I made mention before, both Toyotas that are not yet officially available for purchase, but you can redeem them. The quote as in here for the GR Corolla is, before its official release, Toyota GR Corolla will be available for you to sample in round seven of the Toyota Gazoo Racing GT Cup on August 27th. It will also be available for test drives during server maintenance. 
I shouldn't be reading and driving. Also, players who enter the TGR Cup and register a time in the points ranking of any round using their online ID will receive this car as a gift. The car will be delivered on August 28th. It will also be available for purchase in late September. Good to know. So make sure you guys are playing on August 27th so you can receive this car a month early. Otherwise, if you miss it, it's not the end of the world. You'll be able to see it in Brand Central in late September. So that's good. As for the Toyota Ambulance, the Toyota Ambulance High Medic 21 will be received early as a gift by entering in the gift viewers campaign banner at the broadcast of the World Series Showdown 20, 2023 in Amsterdam, which will take place on August 11th and 12th. The car will be delivered. Oh, God. The car will be delivered on August 14th or August 21st, depending on which day you happen to view the championship on. It will also be available for purchase in the brand Central in late September. So again, like I was saying, make sure that you're watching the gift viewer campaign banner at the top of the screen on, well, in the top of the screen in the main menu on August 11th, so you can get the GR Corolla on August 14th. Otherwise, if you watch it on the 12th, you get it on the 21st. Again, you get it at the end of September as a purchasable car from Brand Central. So again, if you miss out, not a big deal. It's not like you com don't completely miss out on the car. So I did want to make mention, I believe many of you already know that as the Gran Turismo movie is coming out on August 25th, that there is a little bit of a movie tie in here. No official events or any weird gifts or anything like that. But one of the things that they did happen to gift is the Nissan GTR Nismo GT3 2018 model car has the movie tie in livery, which you are able to receive as a gift when you click the little banner on the top of the main menu. So I had already attempted to receive the gift car as it says up here, special edition GTR. But when I checked my uh, car collection, I had only received the base livery GTR, and I don't remember if I bought a duplicate version of that car before I, or if I got it because I was in the Manufacturer's Cup. I don't know. So it's, I'm not sure what exactly is going on, but I was able to just download the community made one and now I feel good about myself, I guess. <laughs> so like I said before, a very basic update, a very underwhelming update once again, a lot of little bug fixes as well has been added. So again, am I disappointed? Yes and no. Yeah, we're still waiting for the big 24 hour endurance race update. And we're still waiting for the update where we get the circuit Gilles Villeneuve and whatnot. But at the end of the day, Polyphony Digital is still updating this game and the community is still thriving and we still love playing this game, even though that's a little bit of a grind at times. So not necessarily am I disappointed. I guess we all have our aspirations of having these giant updates every single month, but that's just not realistic. So the fact that we're still getting anything is very nice. So if you enjoyed this content, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. We've got some more content next week. We've actually got the Need for Speed Volume 4 update. Finally, we can put to bed the idea that there's only going to be three volumes and finally... EA is releasing more updates for Unbound, so I'm very excited about that. And of course, I've been Matt. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys have a great day. Take care. Bye!